La la yeah. la la wait till I give my money right. Message. Dom from yourfinancestosimplified.com here and today we're going to ask answer a question from a reader. Uh, this reader was on Twitter and I received a DM asking, "Hey Dom, where do I put my money if I'm saving for my first home?" Now, I could just easily rattle it off an answer, but you want to go a little bit deeper sometimes. So first I asked was, hey, are you at least investing to your employer's match in your retirement accounts? The answer was yes. Awesome. The next question I asked was, do you at least have a six months to one year emergency fund in place? The answer was also yes. Awesome. This person is doing great. The third question I asked was, well, when do you plan on buying a home? And then this is where it kind of got a little bit hazy. So this person said, I plan on buying a home within the next two years. And I instantly knew the answer at that point. And I, I, I went a little bit further. I said, well, where's your money now? Well, my money's in CDs and I'm not earning a lot. I would like to invest my money so it can make a little bit more to help me buy the house. I said, well, would you be able to stomach a 50% loss? The answer was no. So in that instance, the risk tolerance is, is very low and you kind of need to focus on something here. The purpose of the funds is for a home. You do not have the time to suffer any losses. I say stick to those CDs, stick to the money market accounts, stick to the high interest savings accounts because the point of those savings accounts is so you have it in those two years. Just think in 2009, 2008, people lost 40 to 50% of their portfolio. If you can't see yourself suffering a loss like that, or you, if you don't have the time limit to come back from a loss like that, then, it, then you definitely should stay in those safer assets. Uh, another great example is I believe since 1979, people who were in gold at that time, even though gold has made a tremendous run, it is now 2012 and those people have yet to break even. Imagine that. So imagine you had your house money in gold in 1979. Now you would have to wait roughly 30 years to then break even. So it's one of those things where don't get anxious. You gotta stay patient and realize the purpose of the fund. In summation, when you're saving for your house and you're gonna use the funds in two years, you should really avoid the stock market. You should keep your money in cash base investment. So you got your money market accounts, your high yield savings accounts, and your CDs. I understand you're not making a lot, but most importantly, you won't lose any money.